Hi guys, in the last video, we covered calculations and conditions in SQL, and we're gonna take it a step further in this video and basically combine some of the previous, of the things that we learned previously into one query. And first of all, let's see what my problem is. Um, I'd like to add a new field to this query. And basically this field is called user status, and it tells me whether a user is overweight, underweight, or ideal weight. And the way I would do that query, that 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 uh, status field would be another condition, which would look like this. So if weight is below ideal weight, then I'm underweight. If weight is equal to ideal weight, then I'm ideal weight. Otherwise, if weight is greater than ideal weight, I'm overweight. Otherwise, I got an error. If if none of the above apply, and obviously I casted all my weights as ints. The ideal weights are numeric anyway, so you know there's no need to cast them to numbers. Right, and I added a comma here, and now if I run that, uh, the problem is that the query does not know or recognize ideal weight. Because the problem here is that ideal weight is generated in this query, and yet in this same query we're trying to use that field to, uh, for a further condition or calculation and this is where the problem is so in order to solve this problem what we need to do well first of all we take that off what we need to do is enclose or uh, enclose that query into or, or put it this way we have to um, enclose that query into an outer query so this is basically uh, an inner query which we use and then there is going to be another query outside of that, which is going to have the, uh, the whole data that we need. So basically the way you go about it is like this. Let's go select uh, all and then from. And then here, what I do is I add a param and down here, I close a paren, let me just uh, tab it right, and this is now, this is now a virtual table, which is not an actual physical table, this query is just a virtual table, and it's, I'm going to give it a name, and I'm going to just call it base data. So now, and let me tab it in. <clears throat> So now I have basically an outer query which selects everything from that inner query. Now let's try it out and it gives out the same results. Now the beauty about this is now I can um, um, create my outer query with certain fields from the inner query. So basically I can go now like this and say, okay, you know what, <clears throat> I need base data, that's the name. That's the name of the virtual table, base data, dot uh, username. Then base data dot weight. Then base data dot ideal weight. And then now I can add my case previously and let's add it let's add it <clears throat> so this is not a case and 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 note that i now added base data dot to the fields because that is for sql to know that's the source of those fields and right now if i run that query then i get the status and that's the thing that you have to remember that when you do when you create new fields based on conditions or uh, calculations, you cannot use these new fields in the same query. But then to solve that problem, you just enclose that query which creates those fields into an outer query. And this outer query would then again create new fields, in this case user status, which are based on the calculation fields of the inner query. And so we're using here two things we learned. First, um, calculations and conditions of the previous video. And the second thing we're using are subqueries. And that, that's the way you create then queries which are able to produce something like that.